the sun is shining. Let's um, let's make a new ska song, right? I'm using uh, Logic Pro and my PreSonus uh, soundboard, and um, I'm going to um, grab my guitar. Uh, let's see. Um, for a ska song, I'm going to use um, my Gibson Les Paul. Why? Because I feel like so. Guitar check. Now, you track on Logic. This is my older song. So, let's go. File. Um, always record your ideas. You never know. I've got lots and lots and lots of ideas. I didn't, um, I didn't um, finish because writing music is always a process about learning how to become a better musician. And sometimes you just uh, don't feel the vibe, but uh, today I do. So, oh, here we go. Plugged in, like so. And um, I should have uh, uh, normally, um, preset but uh, let's, let's just go with this one uh, I'm going to uh, try to find something to play my guitar with like you know the plectrums they always disappear in another dimension so off we go um, must be tuned so uh, if you use logic you always have you've got your amp and you click on it that's it, you got here your tuner and let's go. Okay, so it's more or less okay. So uh, today uh, I wrote, uh, I grabbed my guitar and I felt like playing this. Sorry. Okay. Now when you listen to this, you say, well, how can this possibly become a song, right? So I'm going to show you how I use my drums. So I uh, bought a package from Arcus Drums, uh, really, really nice. And he has a ska uh, drum beat. So uh, I'm quickly going to use it uh, normal time. I'm going to use this drummer. There we go. There we go. Southern California, but I don't want uh, this beat, I want this beat, and this I'm going to keep it for my horns. So, what I do, I loop it, I loop it a lot, and I just start playing on it. So, I see, you can hear there's something wrong with the BPM. Let's go to the tempo. I'm going to put it on uh, 200 BPM. So just go here and press 200 BPM. That's it. So now this appears. You see that there's a switch from uh, 120 to 200. Just drag the 120 up to, okay. 120 to up to, um, I don't need this. Um, to 200 and so now it should be and there you go so now start jumping with it so now that i've got it i'm going to use maybe this one okay and you press r and then you start recording it check this out Cancel, I'm going to this, okay, let's go. It's bad and you restart. Nope. So it's uh, it's a lot of work, right? But uh, you can manage to crop this a bit and see if it, come on. What's wrong here? So uh, let's start again. 
Once you've got this, you can find the melody. So here we go. Now I'm going to record my bass line with my guitar, but afterwards I'm going to use my uh, bass. Um, so it's just uh, to keep uh, the ideas flowing. So here you go. Now you can see the screen. I'm just creating a new uh, bass track. So here you go. Bass. And um, so bass, 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 bass. I've got a nice a walking bass line that will make you groove so I'm going to film it so you can see what I'm playing off we go First part, then I'm going to write uh, the other part. So I, uh, maybe I will change it. So um, that's it. That's how I create my my track. And then I'm going to put some horns in it and maybe a, a power chord riff. And uh, so let's uh, continue. I decided I decided to go with a um, power chord uh, after the ska. Very generic. Cut it in the middle uh, because uh, I go for a build up and it sounds like this. So, what you have to do is use the, the looping, okay? So, uh, if you use a recording uh, uh, program, you can always loop it and hear. Everything sounds alright. Okay, so the, the transition is okay. I've changed my um, drums for the power chord one. I went for a normal time uh, punk rock beat. And uh, okay, so now uh, let's copy paste it and see how we can use some horns. Uh, so trumpet and trombones. Trombones, I use it for like a, a smooth layer and uh, the trumpet for the notes, okay, for the melody. So let's go. Sounds all right, right? see um, for my intro I will start with my guitar no bass no drums then bass and drums kick in I'm going to make a melodic solo starting in the ska part and uh, going through the hard uh, well the the harder part and then here is actually where the song will start with lyrics okay so now it's just this I put it on and I'm going to use this really important once it's uh, set up um, is that um, I tend to loop a lot 
uh, because I'm not a really good musician, so I play by ear. So now let's make a new track. Uh, software instrument, okay, and I'm going for the horns. Uh, I've got already here. So uh, with Logic, you've got really nice horns. I'm not going to, listen, just look, uh, trumpet, okay, trumpet. I'm going to, um, this is a nice one. You can use uh, legato and staccato. Uh, so this is my trumpet and here I'm going to put my trombone. So just write trombone. And I'm going to use this one for now. And um, Let's loop and see whatever. Oh yeah, uh, so it's uh, the ska part. Uh, I copy pasted it a lot. So I'm going to use like uh, four of these bars and just uh, improvise a bit like this. <laughs> got uh, my trombone uh, the trumpet melody it's it, I want something like that da, 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 na, 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 na. that's it recording <laughs> So now I'm, uh, the trumpet is recorded uh, and I'm going to copy like this recorded. I'm going to copy and paste it to see if it goes along with the melody. And if it goes along, then I can use it. <laughs> style is no style because everything has been done already but here the ten 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 ta na 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 I like to go an octave uh, higher so uh, that's what I will do um, uh, for the last bar I'm going to take the trombone part go an oct octave higher and uh, some people play it with um, they, they use the MIDI controls here I play everything analog so yeah I'm old school what you what you're gonna do and let's see what uh, what it uh, what the result is. So basically, what I did, I copy pasted uh, my trumpet and my my so my trumpet and my trombone. I copied it by uh, making an 8 uh synthesizer twice, and it's the same melody, but it will announce the distorted pa uh, part. So basically. I uh, put it here and the song starts with the melody and So now you know more or less how the transition is going to work uh i think this might be a better idea so i'm going to um copy this and drag it here let's see if everything checks out okay so <laughs> Some reverse.
this crush here. That's something I had with this uh, drum sample pack. And um, <laughs> it changes everything. Remember how this video started? Listen to this. <laughs> So that's basically how I write a song and um, this will be my type of instruction video. It's not that perfect, but now you, you can have this idea of if he can um, write a song, I can too. I'm not the best music musician out there. <laughs> I'm not even the best musician in my own street. Okay. But nothing will keep me from progressing and i hope uh, nothing will keep you from progressing make errors that's it just try play have fun music is about fun and uh, that's it i'm going to try to edit this video nothing special and once this song is finished of course i'll uh, upload it and make a video uh, with the song like you can see in my channel i've made other songs my own songs i love them uh I love them, so uh, that's the most important part. If you like what you are putting out there, you shouldn't care about what anyone else thinks because there are monsters out there, real beasts, who are the best musicians I have ever seen and I thank YouTube for this. And those guys have like unlikes. They can have like um, 13,000 K uh, uh, sorry, 13,000 likes and a thousand dislikes. I mean, who are those guys disliking those amazing musicians, men or women? So if the best of the best get dislikes, you shouldn't even worry about subscribers or anything. Just have fun. I'm putting this out there and the sun is shining. I'm going to grab my skateboard right now. And uh, yeah, see you guys. Peace. Daniel, ouve isto, mano.